In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to add a rewarded video to your game. We will be using the interactive tutorial as an example. If you want to follow along step by step, simply complete the interactive tutorial and save it as a new BB doc. This video will pick up where that tutorial ends. Let's click into the mind map. Next, double click on your end screen. For this tutorial, we'll need to add a new button to trigger the rewarded video. Let's go ahead and duplicate the try again text and button by selecting them both and pressing S. Then, hold down Shift and drag them downward. Let's also duplicate the try again text one more time. We'll need to click on our second button. And next to Function, let's select Custom. Then, uncheck Block Touch Through. Next, go to the first text layer and we'll name this Watch Video. And the second to Skip Level. I'll shrink down the skip level text so it fits snugly. Let's go to the open animation. Go to the middle keyframe, and next to scale, we'll put 0.9. If we press play, we'll see adjusting that makes the text weird. So we'll go to the first keyframe and delete it. Click the record button. This will record the new keyframe that we set. So let's set the scale to zero. Now when you press play, both text layers should animate in. Now that we have created a rewarded video button, we now need to tell it to play a rewarded video. We'll go to the asset library and add a square by double clicking. Let's rename it reward, then double click to enter its node map. Let's delete this animation node since we will not need it. Head up to the node panel and let's add a touch node and a send node. Click on the send node and in the event group, we'll add rewarded underscore video, and our event name will be pressed. So when we connect these paths, we'll say at start, when the rewarded video button is pressed, send a signal to play a video. Let's head back to our end screen and drag and drop our rewarded video button on top. Since we have not set up a way to receive that signal, let's go ahead and do that. We'll head back to the mind map and click into our 3D world. Then, we'll double click our submarine character. So since our rewarded video button is sending a signal, we'll have to receive it. So let's add a receive node and a rewarded video node. Click on the receive node, and for event group and event name, we'll name it exactly what the send node was. Then, let's connect our paths. So when the rewarded video is pressed, we receive the signal to enable the rewarded video. With our three options, we'll send reward to menu jump and no reward and no ads to game over. Our reward is connected to menu jump because once a user watches a video, they will be taken to the next level. No reward means that if a user doesn't watch the video all the way through, they don't get to skip to the next level. And no ads means if an ad isn't played, mostly due to no internet connection, they will not be able to proceed to the next level. You can also use rewarded video to unlock items, grant your user currency, power-ups, and more. For visibility, let's also rename the event node event-nextlevel. Now that that's all set up, we have one more step. We'll need to go to our event node and uncheck pause current world. We'll need to do the same on the UI screen event observer. Let's go back to the mind map, double click on UI screen, Click on Event Observer and uncheck Pause Current World. For safety, let's save our project. And once that's done, go ahead and preview your game. You'll notice our score keeps increasing. That's because we unchecked the Pause Current World buttons. Since ads don't load in preview, clicking our rewarded button will fire our no ad event, so nothing happens. Testing ads is currently limited to on-device builds, to fix our timer, let's start by heading back to our 3D world and deleting the score tracker object. We need to add back scoring. We'll do that by clicking into our character's node map and adding a new timer and add point node. Click on our timer node and change the time to 0.1. We'll enable the timer by connecting it to the start node. Last but not least, let's quickly add another level. So go back to our mind map, click on 3D World, 
and press S. We'll rename it 3D World 2. And just to differentiate, let's change the world color to a bright pink. And for the connections, we'll say, when the user is defeated and they click the rewarded video button, that will trigger the event next level menu jump after the user watches a rewarded video. And there you have it. Now to preview all our hard work, we'll have to export our game to device. For this tutorial, I will be exporting to Android using Android Studio. We'll add a link in the description on how to do it for iOS. Let's go up to File, Export, Android, and we'll choose where we want to save our exported file. Now that that's saved, we'll click into the folder and click one more time. Make sure you have Android Studio installed. Once that is installed, find your build.cradle file and double click it. This will automatically open your project in Android Studio. Next, let's plug our device in. You'll be notified about any updates that are necessary for your device. We highly recommend you install these updates before you build your project. Once you're all updated, navigate up to the green arrow next to your device name and click it. This will build your project on your device. Now we can see where the character's defeated, the rewarded video pops up, and all that hard work pays off. We hope you found this video helpful. Like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more tutorial content.